In this video, I'm going to illustrate to you how false memories are created, how we distort memories by the information that we acquire after an event, the questions that are asked about that event, and also the words that are used to describe the event. I'm going to explain this and illustrate it by describing two experiments done by cognitive psychologist Elizabeth Loftus and John Palmer back in the mid-1970s, which changed forever the way eyewitness testimony is collected and used. The mid-1970s was an important time for the development of work on false memory, which was initially explored by Sigmund Freud. It was also the time that Neuro Linguistic Programming, or NLP, was created. NLP practitioners worldwide are now using time-tested techniques and methodology developed in NLP from this knowledge to help people overcome traumatic, disturbing, phobic memories. They're using it to heal, to improve the way that people communicate with others and how people use their brain. So let's have a look at the first experiment then. And this experiment set out to prove that memory of an event can be modified by language used to describe it. So in this first experiment, Loftus and Palmer gathered together 45 people and separated them into five equal groups of nine people. So nine people in each group and they had them taken into separate rooms and each group was shown the same short piece of film. And the film showed two cars on a road coming together in an accident. After seeing the film, the audience were asked the question, so about how fast were the cars going when they and then a word was inserted in there, each other. How fast were the cars going when they somethinged each other? So for each group, they used the same question and modified just the verb describing the impact. One group was asked, about how fast were the cars going when they smashed into each other? Another group was asked, how fast were the cars going when they contacted each other? Another group was asked, how fast were the cars going when they hit each other? Another group was asked, how fast were the cars going when they bumped into each other? And another group, the last group, was asked, how fast were the cars going when they collided with each other? The answers will be of no surprise to NLPers, and the answers showed that perception of speed at impact correlated with the perception of severity of the impact of the cars as determined by the verb that's used in the question. The perceived speed was lowest in the group where the verb used was contacted. So in the group that were asked the question about how fast were the cars going when they contacted each other. The next lowest speed was predicted where the verb used was hit, then bumped, then collided. And the perceived speed was highest in the group that were asked about how fast were the cars going when they smashed into each other. This led to the conclusions that leading questions could distort eyewitness testimony accounts and also the words used altered the participants perceptions and therefore the memory of an event can be modified by the language used to describe it. And they did another experiment. So in experiment two, it shows that memory is distorted by information that's acquired after an event. And in the second experiment, Loftus and Palmer gathered together 150 new subjects and they separated them into three equal groups of 50 people in each group. They were taken into separate rooms and each group was shown the same short piece of film as in the first experiment. After the film, one group was asked, 
how fast were the cars going when they hit each other? Another group of 50 people was asked, how fast were the cars going when they smashed into each other? How fast were the cars going when they smashed into each other? And the last group wasn't actually asked a question. It was, this was the control group. One week later, they brought the same groups back and without showing the film, they asked them one question. Did you see any broken glass? Yes or no? For the group of 50 who were originally asked how fast were the cars going when they hit each other, in answer to the question, did you see any broken glass, yes or no, seven said yes and 43 said no. So that was for the group that were asked and used the verb hit, the cars hit each other. For the group of 50 who were originally asked how fast were the cars going when they smashed into each other? In answer to the question, did you see any broken glass, yes or no? 16 said yes, 34 said no. And finally, for the group of 50 who were originally not asked any question about the speed of the cars, in answer to the question, did you see any broken glass, yes or no? 6 said yes and 44 said no. And you know what? Interestingly, there was no broken glass in the film. The results from the different groups showed how false memory can be created by false perceptions at the time of the event. And memories distorted by information acquired after the event, the words used to describe it and the questions asked about the memory. In NLP, we use language on purpose to help people change, rememorize, and improve. So use your brain to change your life. Learn NLP with excellence assured.